Well, the mild weather continues, but we are gonna have a lot of clouds for the next several days and even some fog, even freezing fog, and a little bit of patchy precipitation. Overall though, it's just a mild pattern right into the next week. So back into the 30s across southern Minnesota again today, uh, about 10 to 12 degrees above normal. Uh, northern Minnesota will stay below freezing, but even northern Minnesota will get in on above freezing temperatures the next couple of days. Uh, these are temperature anomalies this afternoon, anywhere from 10 to uh, 15 degrees above where we should be. Normal highs in northern Minnesota are in the teens. So while they are cooler in the 20s, that's still above normal for the time of year. A lot of clouds and uh, fog has set in too as this warmer, more moist air mass moving north into the cooler air across Minnesota. Uh, the dark areas are where you have denser fog and we'll probably see that overnight tonight into early tomorrow. And be aware that in the overnight hours uh, all this week with temperatures just below freezing, any of that fog could be freezing fog on uh, untreated surfaces. We'll be back into the upper 20s to around 30 tonight. So again, just below that freezing mark. Tomorrow into the 30s again and again, most of the state above freezing this time, just parts of Northwestern Minnesota will stay just below the freezing mark. And it'll be even warmer beyond that. We do have a couple of minor disturbances here. You can see these little ripples. This is in the upper level pattern. Uh, overlaid with the satellite imagery. A uh, couple ripples coming off this uh, trough in the southwest, mostly moving to our south and southeast, but touching off just a little minor precip. We got some light snow showers today across the North Shore area. Uh, that's pretty minor, but then late tomorrow into tomorrow night and Thursday, there will be a couple uh, patches of maybe a wintry mix of precip. Now this is the NAM 12 kilometer model. That's the resolution of the model. It does paint some snow and rain but comparing it to the higher resolution NAM model, it's three kilometer resolution, it has a, a mix of precipitation, maybe a wintry mix of freezing rain, sleet, and a little light rain. So this is both of these are for noon on Thursday, so still a question as to what type of precip will fall. The precise temperature and the vertical profile will matter, but then either way, looks pretty minor. Then next week, we're talking about warm temperatures. The average of the models right now is 50 degrees for next Thursday, which is very warm. Uh, but the European model is the most aggressive right now, 57 for a high, potentially, February 1st. Across southern Minnesota could be in the 50s if the European model verifies. Now, this is the outlier at this point. That's not a forecast, but no reason to believe it's not going to be really mild, if not record mild, into next week. This is looking at the polar vortex. One way we uh, track its strength is its speed, and this is showing a strong polar vortex from here on out after what was a very weak uh, polar vortex last week when we had the cold weather and a strong polar vortex means all that cold is kind of bottled up towards the North Pole or even on the other side of the hemisphere uh, as it's been much of this winter. Siberia and Scandinavia getting the brunt of the winter cold while we have been basking in the mild weather just uh, save for seven to ten days that we had some cooler weather. 34 today into the 30s still the next couple of days we take temperatures up a notch next week I think Monday will start us off on a whole week of temperatures above 40 degrees again with that possibility of 50 late next week uh, in time for the first and second days of February.